This question, a long straight wire uh, carries a current of 20 amperes uh, as shown over here. And the rectangular coil is given with two sides parallel to the straight wire and has sides of 5 centimeter and 10 centimeter. Uh, the nearest side of the rectangle is at 2 cm from the wire and uh, we have to find and the current in the in the coil is 5 amperes. So we have to find the force on each of the segment of the rectangular coil and then what is the net force on the uh, on the wire on the on the wire on the coil. So uh, let's try to find the individual forces first. So uh, the force on the left most part. First off, we need to find the, uh, you yeah, know, what do you call it as, uh, the force because of two current carrying wires, right? There is a direct formula, which is mu naught I1, I2 over 2 pi A. So I'm going to write A as A1 because A1 is the perpendicular distance between these two wires, right? And since they are in the opposite uh, uh, this is they are in the opposite directions the force is going to be repulsive in nature so that's what we have to remember the force is going to be repulsive in nature how can we find that uh, because of this magnetic because of this wire the magnetic field as per the right hand rule right hand curl rule we take a right hand and we curl our fingers you know we put our thumb towards the current and we curl our fingers so the curly fingers are pointing into the page in fact, for the complete area, the magnetic field is into the page. Uh, and now if we use the right hand rule, uh, we take our right hand and we take our index finger towards the current and we take our middle finger towards the magnetic field. So the thumb will actually give the direction of the force. Uh, so the current is downwards. The magnetic field is into the page. So if we take our right hand and you know put our index finger and the middle finger like this so the four on the right so what will be the force um, uh, that will be mu naught is 4 pi times 10 raised to negative 7 i1 is 20 i2 is 5 2 pi is 2 pi and a1 is 2 centimeters so that's going to be 2 times 10 raised to minus 2 so this pi and pi is cancelled so what are we left with is 4 times 20 times 5 over 4 times 100 and over 10 raised to this is 1 2 3 4 uh, so that's coming as 10 raised to minus 3 newtons that is the force on the left hand side of the wire okay uh, then we talk about what is the force on the right hand side of the wire. By, by the way, this is the force per unit length. This is the force per unit length. But we don't need the force on <coughs> one unit length of the wire. We need the total force. So uh, uh, the total force on the left side, uh, let's call it fl dash for this one so fl is going to be the 10 raised to minus 3 times its length and what is the length of the wire that's going to be 0 0.1 right because 10 centimeter is 0 0.1 so we multiply by 0 0.1 so that will come out as 10 raised to minus 4 newton that is the force on the left side of the wire so let me just re-verify it very quickly Let's cancel. This is 100. This is minus 5 is minus 3. Yes, this is uh, 10 raised to minus 4 and the direction is towards the right. Likewise, for the right side of the wire per unit length will be mu naught I1 I2 over 2 pi A2. So the only thing which changes is A2. So that will be 4 pi times 10 raised to minus 7. 10 raised to minus 7 times I1 which is 20. I2 is 5 over 2 pi A2. A2 is uh, Remember, A2 is not 2 now. It's 2 plus this width, right? This the total distance will be 2 plus 5, which is 7. So that will be 7 times 10 raised to minus 2. So this pi and pi is uh, cancelled over here. So let me just grab my calculator. It's 4 times 20 times 5. 4 times 20 times 5 over 14. So this is coming as... Uh, 28.57 times 10 raised to minus 5. 10 raised to minus 5 over here. Let me just 
check that once again uh, 4 times 20 times 5 over 14 which is 28.5 and this will be 10 raised to uh, minus 5 okay uh, so this is the force per unit length so the net force is going to be again we multiply this with point one because its length is 0 0.1 so this is coming as 28.57 times 10 raised to minus 6 newtons 10 raised to minus 6 newtons so that's the force towards the right and uh, there is no need to calculate the force on these two segments and why is that because um, and by the way what is the direction of the uh, right side one to be attractive in nature so that's going to be towards the left now, now, like I was saying, for the top and bottom, there's no need because as per the right hand rule, uh, here the force is acting down and here the force is acting up. So down and up, they just cancel out each other. So the net force is zero. So we don't have to worry about it. Um, uh, so the net force is going to be just zero on it. All right. Uh, current long wire and... Uh, yeah, so, but if they are interested to find the force on each of the segment of the circular coil due to the current carrying wire, if we still want to find, uh, you know, uh, just for that particular segment, uh, then we have to use the integration. So, <clears throat> uh, for that part, this is 20 ampere and this is a wire of 5 centimeter length at some distance x, the magnetic field is going to be mu naught i which is 20 over 2 pi x right and the force and uh, will then is going to be i times which is uh, given to us as 5 so that's going to be let me just check it again yeah that's 5 ampere so that's uh, that's coming like this 5 times uh, dl cross p why dl because uh, uh, that is the elemental length on which we have assumed that the magnetic field is same rather than dl we'll assume dx because the variable which we are taking is x and cross means since they are anyway at 90 degrees so we don't have to bother about the cross product so that will be just 5 b dl integration and b we have already written so that's going to be 5 times mu naught 20 over 2 pi x and uh, then writing it as dl let's write it as dx it will be dx and that should be integrated and the limits of x are going to be this is the lower limit which is the two which is two centimeter and this is the upper limit which is seven centimeter right so that's going to be 100 over 2 pi 100 mu naught over 2 pi and 1 over x dx is natural log of x within the limits of within the limits of um, 2 to 7 right 2 centimeter to, to 7 centimeter uh, it's it's a good idea if we can put that in meters so let me just put it as 0 0.02 and 0 0.07 so that will come out as 100 times 100 over 2 is 50 so 50 times mu naught is 4 pi times 10 raised to minus 7 and this is pi already so this will become natural log of upper limit minus natural log of lower limit so that will come out as pi and pi is cancelled 5 times 4 is 20 so that's 200 times 10 raised to minus 7 natural log of a over b which is just 7 over 2 right so finally this comes out as 2 times 10 raised to minus 5 natural log of 7 over 2 Newton and the direction again using the right hand rule uh, that's going to be we already located the direction that's going to be vertically down and we are not supposed to find <clears throat> we are not really supposed to find uh, what do you call it as uh, uh, we're not really supposed to find the value for the down uh, the wire on the downside because that's going to be exactly one and the same but with the only difference is that's going to be on the upside right so this is ans this answers part a and for part b for the net force definitely these two just cancel out we just have to subtract the left and the right forces so that's going to be uh, 10 raised to minus 4 which is towards the right which is going to be leading of course uh, minus 
28.57 times 10 raised to minus 6. So this one comes out as 1 minus 0.2857, which comes out as 0 0.7143 times 10 raised to minus 4 newtons towards the right. That is the net force acting on the loop. Thank you.